Hey, welcome to the video on calculating net income. I'm going to start by talking a little bit about the difference between gross income, which is what you've been calculating up to this point in the course, and net income. Gross income is what you make before deductions. So this is a really important uh, point. So if you were, you were making a, a budget, you can't really budget based on your gross income because that's not actually what you're going to take home as a paycheck. This is your income before deductions. Uh, there are all sorts of standard government deductions that we'll talk about uh, in the next slide. And then there are other types of deductions that you might have at work. Net income is what you take home. This is after deductions. So this is actually what goes into your bank account. This is what you could budget on. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you how you can calculate your net income um, after standard government deductions. Some standard deductions are income tax. So that would be your federal and provincial income taxes. Employment insurance. Okay. Everybody has to pay, pay EI and Canada Pension Plan. Those are some standard deductions that come off everybody's checks. Other types of deductions, these aren't uh, mandatory deductions, would be union dues. If you belong to a union, you would pay union dues, medical insurance premiums or dental insurance premiums that uh, could be a part of a plan through the company, as well as life insurance premiums and uh, perhaps another pension plan other than CPP. So how do you determine your net income? Well, let's look at an example. We have Sarah here that makes $600 a week working as an assistant manager at the shoe outlet. Calculate Sarah's weekly net income after standard government deductions, income tax, CPP, and EI. Use claim code 1 from the weekly tax deduction tables, effective January 1st, 2012. Okay, the first thing that we want to note here is that we are going to calculate the weekly net income, and we've been given a weekly salary. On your provincial exam, you're going to be given um, data sheets uh, um, that have the tax tables in them. But for the purposes of your homework, you could use this link right here. And we can go to the Canada Revenue Agency website. And you'll notice that they have here uh, weekly tax deductions, 52 pay periods is the one we're going to use. But they also have bi-weekly, semi-monthly, and monthly. So I could give you all sorts of questions. So be careful uh, what tax table that you're going to use for what problem. So here we've been asked, if we go back, We've been asked for the weekly net income, and I've asked you to use claim code 1 from the weekly tax deduction tables. So let's go right here, and let's click on weekly tax deductions, 52 pay periods a year. Okay, so this is going to open up a PDF document. Up at the top here, it says federal tax deduction. So federal, that would be a federal tax. Underneath, look, it says also look up the tax deduction tables in the provincial table. That's because we pay federal tax and provincial tax. So we're going to have to find two amounts and we're going to have to add them up to get the total income tax that is deducted from your paycheck. Now, Sarah made $600 a week. So what we need to do is we need to slide down and under claim code one. So this would be the one right here. We need to find $600 along the left. So I'm going to scroll, scroll, scroll. Now right here along the left, I have a range of 595 to 603 in weekly pay. Under the first column, claim code 1, it says 4990. This is the amount of federal tax that is to be deducted on uh, per week. So let's Write that down. So $49.90 and federal tax. So our federal tax. Is $49.90. Alright, let's go back to the table now. 
and let's look up the provincial amounts. So if we continue to scroll down, that's still federal tax, that's still federal tax. Right here, it starts off with British Columbia provincial tax deductions. So we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna look up $600. And we see here, the range here, 599 to 603. Claim code one, it's gonna be the, uh, the uh, sorry, it's actually gonna be the second column. This is column zero, this is column one is $17.45. So $17.45 is what should be deducted. So $17.45 in provincial tax. So provincial tax. Is $17.45, so I believe what I said. Correct. Okay. So now there are two other standard government deductions that I have to consider. If we go back to the, uh, the page, uh, this previous page here, here we have federal and British Columbia provincial tax deduction tables, but below we have related documents. You'll notice that they're uh, highlighted because I visited them before. Canada pension plan tables and employment insurance tables. Let's start with CPP, Canada pension plan tables. We'll click on Canada pension plan tables. We will look up British Columbia, effective January 1st, 2012. Ooh, what happened there? Let's try one more time. Oh, here we go. Canada Pension Plan contributions. Right here, weekly 52 pay period. And we'll click on the document. And you'll notice up top, we have the right document, Canada Pension Plan Contributions. And this is done in the exact same manner, except you're gonna look and you're gonna see pay and remuneration columns here, 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 and here. Okay, because there's no claim code associated with Canada Pension Plan. So what we need to do is we need to find $600. We'll scroll way down here, getting closer. And it looks as though it first appears right here in this range, 599 to 600, uh, sorry, 599.93 to $600.12. And the deduction is $26.37. So we should be deducting 26.37 for a CPP. So we put down here, CPP 26.37, CPP 26.37. Lastly is going to be EI. So let's go look up EI. And we can go back here. We'll scroll back a couple pages. Under employment insurance tables. Here, employment insurance premiums effective January 1st, 2012, when the province of employment is other than Quebec. I don't know, I guess Quebec is special. Uh, we're not in Quebec here, we're in British Columbia, so for the purpose of this course, we're gonna be using this table right here. And up top, you'll see we have the rate document, employment insurance premiums. And again, we look up $600. Oh, that came a lot quicker this time. So it looks like the first time that it appears is right here, 599.73 to 627, and the deduction is $10.98. Okay, so I have 49.90 in federal tax, 17.45 in provincial tax, 26.37 in CPP, and 10.98 in EI. Now our net pay is simply our gross pay less our deductions. So let's say that, so our net pay here is our gross pay, less our deductions. We're gonna take off these deductions. So let's pull out a calculator and see what we get. I have 600 and we're gonna take away 49.90 in federal tax. We're gonna take away 1745 in provincial tax, we're going to take away 26.37 in CPP, and we're going to take away 10.98 in EI. 
And that is going to leave us with $495.30. So $495.30. So if we made $600 a week, we would get to take home $495.30. And that is how you calculate net income after standard government deductions.